got shot, Abigail ran away to the neighbor's house. That's why she ended up getting kidnapped. The mother was inside the house in the mamad with two other children, a nine-year-old and a six-year-old or something like that. Sometimes during the day, she went out of the mamad to go and get them something to eat or something to drink, and she was shot by a terrorist. So the nine-year-old and six-year-old called Hatsala. They called the dispatch center. The dispatch center understood what was going on. They were hiding in the closet in the mamad and the dispatch center patched them through to the head of our host and our psychotrauma unit, Dr. Anat Kaufman, who stayed on the phone with them for 12 hours mm. and who walked them through what to do. And at times during the day, it was quiet and nobody was around. And then at times during the day, they would hear noise. And Anat also didn't know, you know, at that Saturday morning, how long it was gonna take for the army to, to come. And all during the day when the little boy said, the phone is dying, the battery is dying, and she said, where is the charger? And he said, it's in the kitchen. And she said, is it quiet around you now? Yes, it's quiet. Well, you have to run to the kitchen and get the charger, because she didn't want to lose contact with them. And, and she said, I'll bet you're the fastest runner in your class. And he said, no, actually, I'm really a bad runner. And she said, well, you're going to take me with you, and you're going to run as fast as you can, and then you're going to come back to the closet, and I'm going to be with you, and you can do it. And he ran and he got the charger and he got back to the closet. And she stayed with him on the phone for 12 hours until finally, finally, they were rescued. So, and Abigail is now back home and the three siblings don't have parents. And it's just another one of the unfathomable stories. Israel's emergency medical teams had to spring into action. This is non-denominational. We're treating you know, Jews, Muslims, Christians, everyone in Israel uh, who needs it. helping us continue and we're going to continue doing this as long as we need it. Thank you. It's a good workout when you come to the old city. Yeah. Old city workout. One of the greatest food bites of my life. Flavors, the spices, the atmosphere. Speechless. I ate so much. I was so happy. It was incredible. If you guys come to Jerusalem, go to Duaney, tell her we sent you. Yeah. 100%.
we're back at the hotel guys today was such an amazing day it was so busy we were like all over the place so i realized i never really talked to you guys on camera yet today so when i get back from dinner later i'm going to tell you guys all about what we did today it was seriously so special and amazing so can't wait to share that today is actually christmas and we're about to go to dinner. We're going to a little Chinese food dinner. Um, I put on this little dress. It's like a little yellow dress. I'll show you guys in the mirror in one second. And then it is still kind of like rainy out and freezing. So I'm going to put on a big jacket on top. But I really wanted to wear this dress tonight. So that is what we're doing. And then my hair was like a disaster. So I put it back in this ponytail. And hopefully it works dress is revolve brand tularosa i'm pretty sure link it down below it's so pretty it's like this yellow little silk slip dress i love it i think it's perfect and then i just have on little white shoes oh my god hey is that for the wearing? night these pants from wherever the f they're from excuse me these veja shoes love them would recommend this nice little sweater where'd you get it tel aviv Azraeli mall hoodies check oh. it out Merry Christmas. <laughs> Silent night. We should sing a Christmas song tonight. Also, guys, my band-aid. I didn't tell them what happened to me. My best friend's dog bit me. <laughs> it's not funny. Late. Um, Last week, and I <sighs> still have my band-aid marks from the bite because I ended up going to the ER. I'm totally fine. Still need to be covered up. We're going down to meet everyone at dinner, and then I'll update you guys when we're back because everyone's texting me that I'm holding everyone up and that we need to go. But what's new? That is not gonna work. Hi, um, are you laughing at me? I can't think straight. Back in the room where the lighting is still so dark. Tonight we went to Cab Chem, which was so good. You guys are in the mood for Chinese food. It had the best gluten-free noodles I've ever had. But I kind of wanted to just like run you guys through what we did today, talk about where we went and stuff like that. Yeah, we started the morning in the old city. We went to Jerusalem and we went to the Kotel. That's just something that we do every time we come to Jerusalem. And after that, we went to our favorite lunch spot in Jerusalem called Dweeney. You guys, if you go to Jerusalem, you have to go here. It's like the best little pita bar the tiniest little hole in the wall but the woman who owns it her name's Dini and she's seriously amazing we're obsessed with her love her so much and she just makes the best food so we went there for lunch and then after that we went to the headquarters of United Hatsala and we spent the morning there it was one of the best tours I've ever been on it was amazing I put all the information in the description of this video about ways that you can volunteer and get involved and learn more because the organization is amazing brief overview of what they do basically like a 911 service that is completely free and their overall mission is that they get to you in 90 seconds or less which is incredible so they were sharing with us all the ways in which they help people on a daily basis in israel who need their emergency medical services and then also we learned a lot about the efforts that they've been making since october 7th and everything that they've been doing now in the ongoing war and it's just incredible what they have been able to do and achieve and just how big of an impact they have on everyone here in Israel along with the military and the government and the other healthcare systems already here. This nonprofit is seriously incredible and they are on the front lines every single day helping people here who are going through emergencies and as I said it's 100% free so if you are in Israel it's an amazing amazing thing that they have here and every single person that works for the organization is a volunteer. We got to go inside the headquarters and meet with people and see all the work they do firsthand. I'm really happy that we got to do that today. I'm now gonna go wash my face and take a shower and get into bed because we're waking up really early in the morning. Tomorrow we have a really big day ahead of us and I'm going to be filming all day tomorrow. Tomorrow's definitely going to be a very emotional day. I definitely need to get a lot of sleep just to feel somewhat okay. We are going to Beersheba early in the morning, which is in the south, and I will update you guys in the morning with the plan for the day. It's my little nighttime update. Love you guys so much, and I will update you in the morning. <laughs> 